Hello, I'm Dr. Gregory Martin, and today we're going to be utilizing the Conformis hip system. This is the first patient-specific hip system to be launched here in the United States. The advantages of the system are we have a, a preoperative plan, which uh, is all mapped out according to the patient. We give you the tools to execute that plan, and then finally we give you a patient-specific implant system which matches the patient's anatomy with precision. Today we're going to be performing the hip utilizing the HANA table uh, and using a direct anterior approach. I'd like to point out some things on the eye view, which is the preoperative plan, which the surgeon gets ahead of time and approves. So in this case, it's a right side that we're doing. Uh, it's going to be a stem size 11. And then we get uh, this valuable data we're going to be seeing that we're going to be planning our resection level uh, at 7.7 .7 millimeters above the lesser trochanter. Our neck and head length is 37.8 millimeters. Our neck angle is 128.5. The procedure is planned around a medium head, but as you can see, we have options of going up in the head, and we can see how those changes affect our leg length and femoral offset as we make those decisions intraoperatively. On the cup side, the cup is planned around an inclination angle of 43 degrees and an aniversion angle of 25 degrees. There's two screws planned, both 15 millimeters. These pictures show us the actual placement of the jigs, the femoral jig, and then the acetabular jigs. I'd like to spend a little bit of time to review uh, the innovative jigs that we'll be using to help perform this guided hip replacement procedure. On the femoral side, you're given a model which was based on the patient's CAT scan. So this is an actual model of what the patient's femoral head looks like. This is the F1 cutting jig, which will help determine our femoral neck resection. And, and you can see how that fits on to the anterior femur. And you're going to reference uh, the os anterior neck osteophytes, and it, it, and it should fit securely on. And then we're going to drill and pin in place, and we're going to perform our neck cut. Once the femoral head is resected, we have these conformation jigs. Uh, there's both one from the anterior and the posterior that will fit onto the uh, patient's femoral head, and we can confirm that we resected the proper amount of the femoral neck. And that's very reassuring. The F2 jig is what sits on the, uh, on the cut surface of the femur. And you enter with your cookie cutter through it, and, and also your, it helps uh, determine the correct version of your brooches as you place them. On, on the acetabular side, you're, you're given a jig model of the patient's uh, native acetabulum. The uh, A1 jig fits into the acetabulum, references the inner surface, as well as uh, an exterior rim point. And once that jig is placed and secure, we're going to be drilling two holes, w center lug holes, and then a, a third uh, piloting hole. <coughs> Into those holes, we're going to be placing the A2 jig. And this jig will place into the acetabulum, and this will help control both the, the positioning of your reamer so you don't ream uh, eccentrically, as well as the depth uh, of your ream. Ultimately, this will be removed. The reaming happens in two stages. The first stage reamer reams the rim around the jig, and then the A2 jig is removed, and then the second stage reamer will ream the central bone. This actually helps keep the cup nice and centered and also controls the depth. Once we've done that reaming, we actually have an A3 jig that you can then, again, place into those central pilot holes. It also references the rim. And then we're going to use that jig to see our ultimate cup placement. We, we'll, I'm going to take a marking pen and I'm going to outline the osteophytes. This is the cup simulator jig, and this can actually show what our actually cup will look like 
sitting in the acetabulum as long as we've positioned appropriately. And you can see in this particular case, there's going to be a lot of peripheral rim osteophytes that we'll need to remove. There are also several uh, jigs that are made to, to perform trialing. So there's an acetabular trial, and then there's the femoral neck trial, which goes into the brooch and clicks in securely.